Did you know you can get in a full body workout using only a dip station? In this video, I'm going to show you 15 exercises you can do with this amazing piece of equipment so you can get the most out of it. All right, let's dive in. Let's get started with dip station push exercises. Start off by standing between your dip bars, press down from the shoulders, arms, and lower chest, and stand on your tippy toes. And then very slowly try to pick your feet up off the floor by curling your legs back. This is the support hold. Work on building this up for a certain amount of time, holding it isometrically like I am here. I recommend aiming for at least 15 to 20 seconds. Keep your arms nice and locked out, not bent, and once you reach your target hold time, you can try this next exercise by getting up into the support hold and then doing a dip negative by slowly lowering down and then placing your feet back on the floor when you reach the bottom. Get right back up and then repeat that, lowering down, putting your feet down and coming back up into a support hold. Do this over and over for reps to build strength for the third exercise we're gonna do here, which is legit dips. And to do that, you get up into the support hold, lower down, and press back up. So you're not putting your feet back on the floor like in the negatives. Now you're using the strength of your lower chest, your shoulders, and your triceps to press yourself back up to the top. What's great about dips is it's a pretty versatile exercise, right? You can really get high with the reps here, going up to like 15, 20 reps and build muscular endurance, or you can wear a backpack with weight in it keeping it under eight reps to build strength. And for this next push exercise, we're actually gonna take the dip station and lay it down on the floor. So this way you can put your hands on the bottom portion of it, the half closer to you, and then lower down into a deep push up. Now, technically this is an incline push up because your hands are slightly elevated off the floor. And that means you'll be hitting uh, the lower chest a little more than, than the upper chest or mid chest. But the good thing about this is that with the bars on each side, since you're holding parallel bars, you can get really deep. You can sink those shoulders way down, get a nice stretch, and really do a full range of motion, which is why I like doing these a lot. So work on those four exercises for your push movements, and now let's take a look at the core exercises. Start off by getting between your dip bars, press down again from the shoulders, triceps, and lower chest, Come up into a support hold, but this time raise those knees up towards the chest and then bring them back down to the starting position. Doing this for reps is called knee raises, right? You're doing knee raises on parallel bars, and this is a great introductory exercise to core movements and a great lead up to the full leg raises and L-sit. Also, don't worry if you can't bring your knees up as high as I'm doing, just bring them up as high as you can and range of motion will improve with practice. Now for the next core exercise, once you've built up those hanging knee raises quite a bit, you want to do the same thing but with legs fully extended. All right, These are full leg raises on parallel bars. In the beginning, it's okay if you swing the legs up with momentum, but concentrate on lowering them down in a controlled manner. Over time, you'll build the strength to lift them up with control and lower them with control. Now let's take a look at an isometric core exercise here. What you're gonna do is get up into a support hold, but now you're going to just bring those knees up like a hanging knee raise, only you're gonna hold the top position. This is a tucked support hold. Once you're able to hold that for a good, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds or so, then try doing these, which are a lot more challenging. You're going to extend one leg at a time and do L-sit bicycles. This not only trains the abdominals really well, but it's a great lead up to the full L-sit on the parallel bars. Also, when you fully extend a leg on these, concentrate on moving those hips forward a little bit. That's really gonna help you with the L-sit in the long run. So watch when I come up into an L-sit, and as you can see here, this is exercise number nine, I'm actually trying to push my hips forward through my hands, like between my hands. That is how you hold a good solid L-sit. So work on the L-sit, try to build that up. I was pretty exhausted, so couldn't hold one for too long. But once you're getting L-sits, you're getting the hang of it, start doing these, where you go into an L-sit and then down to a full dip. All right, the dip to L-sit is a great hybrid exercise that's really gonna get your heart rate up and work your full body. Plus, this is just a really good move to show off with, all right? It's, it's a big movement, 
and your typical weekend warrior or gym goer can't do something like this, so show off with it when you achieve it because it's, it's well deserved. And now pull exercises on the dip station. If you guys have been following me here on Minus the Gym, you're probably tired of seeing this exercise, but get into a bent leg bridge like this underneath your dip station and then pull yourself up to do what's called body weight rows. I consider these to be a foundational exercise in calisthenics for building up your pulling strength. And the reason why is that it builds strength in scapular retraction, which will lead up to pull-ups, front levers, and all kinds of things. And here you can see I straightened my legs. Straightening the legs instead of bending them will increase the resistance to make this more challenging. So build up the reps on those. I recommend maybe 8 or 10 slow reps before you try this. Rolling back into this tucked front lever, which is exercise number 12 here for dip stations. And you can see I'm holding an isometric contraction, squeezing my shoulder blades together and holding myself in this sort of horizontal position with my knees tucked up above my chest. And once you can hold that for a good 10 or 15 seconds, try these, which are tucked front lever pull-ups. So in a tucked front lever, you squeeze the shoulder blades together and bend at the elbows to pull yourself up as high as you can. In my experience, these are just as hard as pull-ups, maybe even more challenging. And since they are a purely horizontal pulling exercise, they really hit the rhomboids and the biceps. So even when you can do pull-ups, make sure you include these as well. And for this last pulling exercise, place your dip station about 8 to 12 inches in front of a wall, get beneath it, come into a tucked front lever, and then extend the legs as straight as you can, straight overhead above you. This is called an inverted hang, and it's really going to hit your upward vertical pulling muscles. Don't let your head or upper back touch the floor, and remember, the wall is behind you in case you topple over, your feet will touch the wall and it'll catch you so you don't hurt yourself. When your muscles finally give out, roll forward to come back to the floor. And honestly, guys, this is the only calisthenics exercise for upper traps, so I highly recommend it. And now let's look at leg exercises. Well, there's actually only one leg exercise I use my dip station for, and that's assisted pistols. And as you can see here, I'm doing partial assisted pistols, meaning I'm holding onto the dip station for support, but only going down part of the way, maybe a third of the way or so. As you practice this and gain strength and flexibility, you'll be able to go all the way down to the floor and then come up. But it takes time to get there, so have patience and dedication to this exercise because it took me a long time to get the hamstring flexibility and the strength to go all the way down, but almost to the ankle and then pressing back up to the top position. So have patience, stay with it, and you'll get it. So there you have it guys, those are 15 exercises you can do with only a dip station. I hope it was helpful, and by the way, I tried to make the exercises progressive so you can gradually work up to the next one as you go and build strength, all right? If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, that really helps me out. Maybe share it on social media if you'd be so kind and you think others would benefit from it. And don't forget to subscribe, buttons down below, and tap that bell icon, right? When you tap the bell, then YouTube notifies you every time I upload so you don't miss a video. All right, I will see you guys in the next one.